Welcome to Singapore. of forests and butterfly farms and all sorts going on so there's a hell of a lot to do you can yeah. keep yourself entertained for a long time so far what we think of singapore is it's actually very very green we didn't expect it to be this green and natural the gardens are pruned to perfection well looked after and the roads are immaculate like there are no potholes or anything like that just heading to our homestay we are about 30 minutes from the airport and about 20 minutes on a bus from the orchard city center and we're also near the i think it's called the richie canopy walk apparently it's a really cool beautiful walk so hopefully we get to do that sometime during our stay here just been relaxing in our new place for a bit and then we took the bus that was about a 45 minute drive here to Clark Key. It was $2.10 per person so $4.20 for the both of us. You can pay cash but most people use a card. Anyway we have come to the famous Clark Key, which is on the Singapore River and we've come to a restaurant called Jumbo Seafood to have the famous chili crab. Now I've never had crab before so this is my first time trying it and I'm excited. Chili crab is one of Singapore's most famous dishes and it was voted number 35 out of 50 most delicious meals in the whole world by CNN. So pretty psyched to try it out. Such a famous place that you have to put your phone number in and jump into a queue and I guess when your table's ready they'll give you a call on your phone. The wait time is about 60 to 90 minutes and it's around 6 p.m. on a Sunday. Put my bib on. <laughs> so the fish okay? Yeah. We are about to eat the best 
chili crab in Singapore and probably the world. And I'm so excited. And it's my first time eating crab. This is a fairly special moment for me. Let me put my bib on now. Perfect. <laughs> Eating crab before. No. These little bread lids things, they are delicious. Delicious. It's uh, pretty spicy, the sauce. But it's very, very tasty. But uh, crab is probably the hardest thing I've ever eaten in my life. But worth it. Hey, you that? think it's like crab meat? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so here in Singapore, um, when you get the chili crab, you're supposed to order the sweet buns with it. You have to pay extra per bun. But it's actually a very sweet bun. It tastes similar to donuts, but not as sweet. And yep, you just basically take it and you, you dunk it. And it pairs really, really nicely with the spiciness of the sauce. It actually mellows it out a bit. Oh, so soft. And delicious. Not coming out of this kind of leg there. <laughs> and this is a very messy business. <laughs> well, that was delicious, messy, tangy, and expensive, but. Yep. It was an experience, that's for sure. One that we haven't had before. Sometimes you gotta pay a little bit more to have an, a new experience, to learn something new. Claire now knows how to eat crab, which is at least you could say you've paid for a skill. <laughs> so yeah, recommend it if you guys are interested in trying it out. currently almost 1 a.m. at night. We're standing outside the old police building that was erected in 1932 and we're just waiting for the bus to head home to our apartment again. So after it was erected it was actually the biggest government building in Singapore. It was the police station back then and it housed 280 policemen so they actually used to sleep in this building on site and then thereafter in World War II it was taken over by the Japanese and then used as an interrogation building. In 1980 I think it was a and then it was renovated in 2000 and is now known as the Colorful Windows House. We're so busy vlogging there, we nearly missed our bus. Because we weren't like standing to attention and looking at the bus when the guy came past, he assumed we didn't want to get on it. But he luckily stopped because clearly went running. <laughs> but anyway, we're here. Surprised that um, it runs so late in Singapore, it's already past one o'clock. When you come to Singapore, don't be afraid to use the buses here, they're really easy to figure out. Uh, just make sure you've got the exact amount of cash on you, like yep. the exact amount. So first you figure out where you're going, and then you say where you're going, and then he tells you the price. 
and generally it's around two dollars. Very good bus system all around, can't complain, very chuffed. Oh, we didn't tell you earlier this morning when we got onto the bus to go to Orchard Road, we didn't have the exact amount of money, we only had a ten, a ten dollar note and a woman on the bus Heard that. Heard that. Started. And she nearly paid for us without us even knowing. Yeah. And it was so kind and we said to her, no ma'am, we've got we've got we just need change. And she's like, oh okay. And she scrambled in her bag and quickly got us some small change to pay for our bus tickets. How but cool is that? So so kind of her. It just shows you that the people in Singapore are so kind and they'll go out of their way to help you. They don't seem like over the top friendly, but they have kind hearts and they're willing to help. Really nice experience. Good morning, it's day two and we are on our way to get some breakfast. We're just walking through the suburbs. What are your impressions of the suburbs? Lots of money here. <laughs> the houses are pretty big and super beautiful. And there's always a fancy car parked in the front. Mercedes Benz or an Audi or something. Yep. And <laughs> That's a lot of uh, one of the things we picked up is there are a lot of rich people here in Singapore. They're, every third car is a Mercedes Benz or a BMW or flip we saw yesterday we saw a Lamborghini and a Porsche and we saw a Nissan GTR. Wow. Yes. Some really really cool cars. As you can see on our right there's a beautiful mansion. Stunning. <laughs> and it's also really quiet at the same time and uh, suburban is just you know birds tweeting dogs barking kids screaming in the distance I guess we're nearing a school it's really really nice continental breakfast this morning. We were actually on the hunt for the breakfast we had yesterday but this place don't serve that so this is the next best thing. Very good, nice to eat some bacon and some beans again and interesting thing is the butter on the bread is mixed with condensed milk so very sweet at the same time. We're done at breakfast, that was delicious. The total cost was 12 Singapore dollars. Now on our way to find a bus stop to get to Orchard Street. The streets are so clean and immaculate. There's dustbins virtually on every corner. You can see why it is just so clean. Although if you go further out of the city centre there are areas where it's not so clean but the closer you are to the main part of Singapore, the main city, the cleaner it gets. This is the bus stop ahead. I feel like I'm in Penang in Malaysia. Yeah it does feel a lot like Penang in Malaysia anyway. Let's see how long we have to wait for the bus. Road, all the big brands. Lavish. All right, so we're just gonna walk up and down Orchard Road, going into my first ever official Apple store, not an oh. Apple reseller. It's right in front of us.
exploring Orchid Road a bit. All of the big brands are here. the Orchard Road in Singapore. It's absolutely awesome here. And this is basically where all the big shopping malls and the big brands, the expensive brands are like Prada and Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton and the Apple Store which we were at earlier. Tiffany and & Co and Dior. <laughs> yeah. yeah so this is really the shopping district of Singapore. It's quite a vibey place and the streets are immaculate here. It's really stunning. And there's a very big Chinese influence in Singapore. It's nearing Chinese New Year, which is in about a week's time, so you hear a lot of Chinese music all over the place, so the vibe is really awesome. Happy New Year to all the Chinese viewers of our channel. I don't think we have any. Super tender, uh, it's drizzled in a nice sweet soya sauce. Pretty basic meal, but it's really tasty. <laughs> Found a spot on the grass. We're gonna settle in and just wait for the lights. The sky is just an incredibly beautiful pink and orange. It's just so beautiful. Rhapsody here at Gardens by the Bay and it was really a spectacular show. Entrance is free so you don't have to pay anything. You just come at quarter to 7 p.m. and at quarter to 8 p.m. every day. They have the same light show. In the background you would have seen there is the Marina Bay Sands, the most popular hotel here in Singapore. 
it, to be honest, is really something magnificent. Just staring at it is incredible. It's a work of art. We are here in Paragon Mall at a place called Yakun Kaya Toast. We are about to have another Singaporean breakfast. This stand in Paragon Mall is actually very well known for this breakfast, so I'm happy we came here because uh, the first time we had Kaya Toast was in the airport at uh, my mum's. So we're trying a second place and we got the basic Kaya Toast set, uh, which is a coffee, two boiled eggs, and Kaya Toast. And it costs $4.80 per set. So we're just waiting for our Kaya Toast and then we'll dig in. Oh, man. Again, the coffee is just so strong and absolutely delicious. Very sweet because it's uh, infused with condensed milk. It's a very interesting process of how they make it. And that, yeah, delicious coffee. The toast has just arrived. Claire's going to tell you a bit more about that now. The Kaya toast has actually got Kaya jam, which is coconut jam, and it's got butter on it, and it's on a brown bread toasted, and it's so delicious. We love this meal. I'm a big sweet breakfast eater in the mornings. I don't like to have savory meals very often. This is so up my alley. It is absolutely delicious. I'm loving it. So the basic rule of thumb as a traveler, when you're in a new country and looking for places to eat, you always look for the longest queues that have a lot of locals in there. If it's busy, you know it's good because the locals are eating there. And that's what we've done right now and it is absolutely awesome. People just keep on queuing up. It's, it's already past lunch time and there's just so many people just getting this meal. We got some wonton noodles with wonton dumplings, veg, green veg, and then they drizzle soy sauce on the top. And then I got a little soup with the two. I'm not sure what the soup is. I usually don't eat pork, but I made an exception for this video because it's one of the meals you should try here in Singapore. Red will probably eat the majority of that, but let's dig in. They're really cool though. We had noodles like this in Penang, in Malaysia. Very good. I actually recommend that you have a chow soy wonton noodles, but I didn't want so much pork, so I just got the dumpling version. But usually the chow soy comes with pieces of uh, pork on top, and then the dumplings and the noodles. But yeah, if you don't want so much pork, get the dumpling version. This meal costs $4.50. That seemed to be the average price that you would pay for a meal here in Singapore. Now for the soup. I have no idea what that is. It kind of tastes peppery. I'm guessing it's just some kind of meat broth with pepper. But there's no pepper in it, so I don't know. Previous videos we have been shouted at by viewers for eating meals in food courts and in malls. And honestly, when you're traveling, it's difficult to, to, to access like local restaurants and local food markets. I'd rather just eat the meal anywhere than not eat it at all. The sign of this food court says that it's the best Asian food in Singapore, so you can't blame me for coming here. Here's a pro tip. If you're anything like me and get extremely hot while traveling, especially in Asia, get yourself some sweatbands. Found a tennis shop in the market here where we are. Able to pick up some sweatbands, really, really help <laughs> when you're really walking around in the hot markets and going from place to place. 
they're just really really useful. Markets are generally places where inferior items are sold, like product quality items in Asia at least. But this market's actually really good. They've got legitimate shoes, really, really nice tennis shop, which is really strange. I haven't seen that in a market before. Actually selling the actual tennis rackets and everything. They sell real jewelry in this jewelry store here. So we are in Lucky Plaza. That's the market's name. I'll put a little link down below so you can check it out. This is also interesting to note in a Singapore market is they sell real makeup. This is Essence, this is my brand. This is a one person escalator. How interesting. One thing I absolutely love about Singapore is that even though it's this big concrete jungle in this city, it has so much greenery and there are so many birds and they make the most beautiful sounds. Like we're in the thick of the city and you can hear <laughs> and there are so many ancient big trees here, it's beautiful. 